It is said that people living in the plateau yearn to become an eagle. Flying freely across the snow-capped mountains and grasslands. Accompanied by the silver eagle, my journey to Daochug has thus begun. I started from Chengdu Shuangliao International Airport, and the total flight time was less than an hour to Daocheng Yading. I am now exiting the Daocheng Airport, and the air here is super fresh. Under the clear blue sky of the plateau, the entire airport is exceptionally stunning. It looks like some kind of UFO landing on Earth. As far as I know, Daocheng Yading Airport, 4,411 meters above sea level. It's even higher than many of the world's famous mountains. Jishan 对,工程难度,施工难度都是非常大的 So now, my trip has officially begun Watching the views along the way flashing outside the car window I've witnessed the sacred snow mountains Quiet lakes surrounded by forests and herds of yaks wandering in the grasslands, which all converge into the last pure land on this blue planet. It was because of the operation of the airport here that the world could see this beautiful place. Oh, he just pooped. Hey, bud. Given the growing number of tourists coming to visit Daocha, the local homestay economy has emerged. And then, oh, it's like a stone fortress. Let's check it out. Ooh, pin the tail on the donkey. Ah, ni hao, ni hao. Okay, okay, okay. This B&B house named San Mao belongs to Mr. Jan a traveler from Xi'an. Years ago, he set foot on Daocheng amid a trip and henceforth never left as he fell in love with the place. Here I found the book written by James Hilton, Lost Horizon. Fascinated by the Shangri-La described in this book, Travelers and tourists from corners of the world began to swarm in. So I'm here with a very special guest tonight. This is Cedric. He's from France. And he actually first visited Daocheng 20 years ago. And now he's come back with his wife and kids. So what are the changes you've seen from 20 years ago until now in Daocheng? 
So I think that the biggest difference, like 20 years ago, was really the adventure. Uh, you didn't have any place like this one really organized for tourists or visitors. Now it's super, super, very well organized. Um, it's much easier to travel from one place to the other in uh, in Sichuan province, and um, so it's much it's much easier to come with a family. As Cedric said, the airport is bringing Daocheng closer to the outside world. Every year from July to September is the rainy season in the mountains, and matsutake mushrooms hiding in the forest begin to grow. Mizan Joma, a 25-year-old Tibetan girl, has attracted over 5 million fans and followers on China's social media platforms, where she live broadcasts her matsutake mushroom picking experience. It's raining right now. I decided to follow Droma up the mountain to find the fairies on the 4,000 meter plateau. <laughs> Mushroom picking is never a cakewalk. You need to harness observation skills as well as luck. Droma told me she had to scrounge in the boskage at the cost of at least 10 hours per day. And in the worst of times, after climbing for miles of roads, she would come home with nothing. No, I eat it? Ah, uh, okay. No. It's very good. You don't eat it. All of it? It's a bite. Ah, uh, okay. It's good. Matsutake has an extremely short shelf life, usually no more than seven days after being picked. Its transportation must ensure the fastest and timely delivery. Here, I came to an open market selling wild matsutake mushrooms, where freshly picked matsutake are sold and delivered to families in big cities the next day through air shipment. All right, mom. Well, I'm going to take you here with me. I'm going to bring you through the phone, bring you here to Daocheng, take you straight to Shangri-La, okay? Are you ready? I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. I just think that this is one of the miracles of the universe, you know? I, it's just crazy, you know? So I remember this event from probably over 50 years ago, and now you're standing there yep. sharing it with me. It was so ironic because I was a little girl uh, growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, but, but I just felt like that's where I belong. That's where I need to go. And it's just stayed with me all those, all these years. So do you have to go through the mountains? What's it like getting? Uh, there was an airport built here. I mean, this is the middle of nowhere and like just, and so such high elevation, but there was an airport built here in 2013 that has really made just life easier for tourists and, and locals who want to come here so um, yeah like uh, w once you decide to come like you can fly here 